After today's video, you will be able to explain the effects of inadequate mixing and explain the importance of 70 drum revolutions on ready mix concrete. Also, you will recognize the effect adding water will have on the outcome of your product. In America, we are blessed with an abundance of consumer goods and products. Quality products, or are they? Have you ever purchased a product only to take it home and find out it does not accomplish or perform just exactly the way the manufacturer claimed it would? You feel cheated. It is the same with our ReadyMix concrete. Our concrete is designed in a way to meet maximum strength specifications. As a quality concrete producer, we are constantly in a pursuit of excellence. We strive to produce and deliver a quality product. But when that product fails to meet the specifications that we originally designed it for, we fail to deliver what we promised. In our pursuit of excellence, we want to make ourselves aware of the important part that drum rotations play in quality concrete. Our concrete is designed to meet its maximum strength when it has received 70 drum revolutions at mixing speed. First of all, let's think of concrete as a water-based paste, like a glue. Glue, when it dries, bonds together. The strength of this glue comes from the density of the paste. Therefore, the more water you add to this glue, the thinner and weaker it will be. That means less glue to adhere to the aggregate and less strength. Second, good mixing is essential for the glue. The water and cement must be evenly displaced around the aggregate. Because of the high density of sand, it takes 70 drum revolutions to maximize this process. The Martin Marietta Cement Company of Denver, Colorado conducted an interesting study to see the effects of inadequate mixing. For their study, the ready mix was batched out of a dry batch plant and then taken to a job site with the ready mix truck at agitate transit speed of 4 RPMs. Then it was mixed at the job site at 20, 40, 50, and 70 total revolutions at mixing speed of 12 RPMs. Tests were taken at various stages of the mixing. First of all, you must remember that every one of these samples taken had 84 revolutions at 4 RPMs or at the transit speed. The changing variable is how many revolutions they had at a maximum mixing speed. The first sample was taken with 84 drum revolutions at 4 RPMs or at transit speed, but with zero or no mixing revolutions at the higher RPMs. The results were a 7-day test strength of 1,920 PSI and a 28-day test strength of 2,405 PSI with a total slump of 1 inch.